Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying three like spreads. Uh, you spread these on things from Maria in Berlin, Germany. Thank you very, very much to Maria. She sent us the Milka hazelnut spread, and then she sent us this is a chocolate spread. I have a plum spread. Okay, so we're gonna tr try the Milka first. And uh, she, I have her, Maria's cheat sheet here, and she said. Um, there's no words needed for the Milka hazelnut and chocolate spread. So yeah, it's chocolate and hazelnut. Milka, I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. I'm excited about it. And we have toast. Uh, we have toasted some bread, and um, so we're gonna try it on toast. Uh, Maria said, you know, you can use it on, uh, she said a Ritz cracker, cause she knows how we are. Huh? Uh, but she also said like pancakes and stuff like that, so. You want me to get you some? Yeah. I'm wondering how runny it is. It looks about like Nutella. That looks like about the same thickness of it. And we could have just tried this with a spoon. Good chocolate flavor. Mm Mmm, yeah, the hazelnut comes in later. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. It's very good. It reminds me a lot of Nutella. It is. Um, it, mm -hmm. I don't think it's quite as sweet. Really? It's sweet. Don't get me wrong. But I don't think it's quite as sweet as mm -hmm. Nutella. Um, I mean, it's sweet enough. It's probably. very sweet. Kevin's probably right. It probably isn't as sweet as Nutella. But I love it. Mm -hmm. I think it's delicious. Sarah. It would be wonderful on toast. Mm -hmm. um, good creamy texture. Mm -hmm. Chocolate's really good. Yes, and I mean, milk of chocolate is exceptional anyway. It's mm -hmm. always really creamy. But the, the first you get the chocolate, and then you get the hazelnut. Mm -hmm. I didn't think the hazelnut was really, really as strong as, as Nutella either. It's no. more of a chocolate. No, hazel, uh, the, yes, the, I agree. The hazelnut and Nutella is absolutely strong, mm -hmm. but I still like that. Yeah, because that, that hazelnut, like, hits you in the face. I mean, you know 100%, it's 90% hazelnut. This and that you don't. This one's mostly chocolate. Right, no. which you would expect from a company who specializes which in chocolate. Which I would chocolate. prefer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, I, I love this. Um, so this is called... I'm using what little finger now? Opomatine. A oval maltine crunchy cream chocolate spread she said it's a Swiss product two things make this spread irresistible and the first is that you can go ahead and get it with a uh, trust me to yeah I trust you especially with a knife that's awkward Dude, two, this one's crunchy pieces in here no you're fine two things make this uh, incredibly uh, make this irresistible she said the first is the incredibly crispy mm -hmm. oval mateen bits and the smooth texture of the spread. The second reason is the unique combination of malt and cocoa. Um, so malt, cocoa, little bit, crunchy bit. Is this for me? Boy. Well, I get less. Ke no, I mean, Kevin really puts I, it on thick. That's not how thick you gave me that, that last bit. I love the texture. The texture almost has a little piece of, like almost cereal in it. Mm -hmm. That's why I wanted to try it without the toast because mm -hmm. the toast is crunchy. It interferes with the crunch. That would be excellent on a Ritz cracker. That would be excellent mm -hmm. on good. pancakes. Um, that it's it's delicious. I do love the crunch because it's so unique. It's not like Rice Krispies. Um, mm -hmm. No, it's cereal. not as soft as Rice Krispies. Um, it's it, crunchy, almost like cookie pieces, almost, but not quite that hard. It's almost like um, you know the uh, the pleasure you get when you eat uh, uh, fruity pebbles. Yeah, yeah, that, a that, little that, firmer that, crunch. That, yeah. and that, that um, that's the crunch mm -hmm. that you get in there. Yeah. Is is almost like a 
a flake cereal of some kind. Yes. That's, crumb, like that's a, broken up into yeah, small pieces. Exactly. Yeah. It's like a Fruity Pebbles, it, not fruity flavor. It's like the, okay, let's go with cocoa. It's like the cocoa pebble cereal, but yes, it, the flakes are broken up into very, very small pieces. So it's even smaller than you get in the cocoa pebbles. I, I, it's I, very, very good. It's yes. very sweet, but the flavor wise, it tastes somewhat of chocolate. That's really all I got out of it was, and it's not really a strong like chocolate flavor, but. It is a, Maria said cocoa. I can see that because it's not as a, uh, yeah, I, and oh, I, loosened, I loosened them. I loosened them all before we started. Um, it's uh, it's not as, as just sweet like your regular chocolate. Not, not even as sweet as like this. No, it is more of a cocoa flavor. So now this it's good though. Is a plum spread, and there's no way I'm gonna ever be able to pronounce this correctly. A Chandler. Bloom. <laughs> Just give up. <laughs> yeah, Byzantus. Uh, it's a traditional German plum spread. Among the fruit spreads, this spread made from plums is outstanding. It's like in the UK where only fruit spread made out of oranges is called marmalade, while the ones made out of other fruits are called jam. In Germany, a fruit spread made of plum is called... Whatever that is. Plumunen, plumeninus, plumemimus while all the other spreads are called marmalade. The word plume, whatever, reminds you of plum. Um, Anschen is a city in Germany where the recipe originated. It has a very special taste, slightly spiced, slightly sweet, slightly tart or sharp that goes well together with a slice of bread and butter. In Germany, it is tr a traditionally a filling for donuts or a spread for pancakes. I'll let you jump. Oh. I don't know how much you want. Go ahead. It Do reminds me, the textures it reminds me of what we have as apple butter. Uh, yes. I see that. It even has the same smell as apple butter. Wow, that's a plum, 100%. It's very, um, sharp. Yeah, yeah, it's got a tartness to it. Yes. You know what? I haven't eaten a plum in, I couldn't tell you how long, but I've eaten prunes, which is just a dried plum. Mm -hmm. um, that is very strong of that it's prune flavor. Very, very sharp. Very strong. And the texture is like apple butter. It's yes. very smooth. Um, it's, it's thick. Very, it's thick, thick and, and smooth. smooth. Yeah. Um, very good. I like it. Yes, I, I could... I am not used to eating something that sharp on my toast. Mm -hmm. I usually go for something very, very sweet, but I could get used to that. Yeah, this one's, I agree, it's more sharp than like um, um, tart or anything like that. It would be like the, like the orange marmalade, it's like that, it's more tart. This is this more is, sharp. It's yes, gonna, this yeah. is, yes. But if you eat plums, you know, if, if you get it, that exact flavor mm -hmm. in that one. Yeah, and I do think uh, it seems like really, really good quality. I just it's think for me, I'm used to so, things that are so <laughs> sugary sweet on my toast that this would be a change of pace. Yeah, and I could also see that in a filled donut because um, mm -hmm. over here it's mostly raspberry filled or cream filled. Mm -hmm. um, or some, Nutella. Or sometimes it's <laughs> strawberry filled. Okay. Chocolate. Um, this, would, I could see that being inside of a donut because it's super, super sweet and you get the little sharpness from that. That would mm -hmm. be good. Especially if they, it had it was a powdered sugar, mm -hmm. put powdered sugar on yeah, the top. Really yeah. Good. Well, my favorite thing of the three milka. is the milka. Yeah, but that's. I wish this texture was in the milka. I agree. I would I like, like the little crunchy. I think milka should do a version of a crunchy. Of a crunchy like this. Do the same. Try to mimic the texture in this, but have the same flavor of the milka because that texture, um, it's it's very very fun to eat. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Uh, so thank you very much to Maria for sending us these. We always appreciate it, and thanks for watching.